What's going on everybody, Quaker here, back with another video. Today, I wanted to take a look at an application that was recommended to me from a friend called Rave. Rave is essentially a service that allows you to essentially do like watch parties with friends across the world um, on the internet using its service. Now, the thing I wanna tell you guys ahead of time is that uh, one, it requires that everybody for most of them to have their own accounts. Um, so for example, if you want to watch something with friends uh, on Netflix or Disney Plus or Amazon Prime, like those three or even HBO Max, the streaming, the core streaming services pretty much. Um, if your friend is living out of the country and the video you guys want to see is only available in your country, it will not work for them. Uh, it, they, they will have to either use a VPN and switch over into the country that it's available in or whatever. But it's not simply that you can share any video to anybody. You guys all need to have your own access to that content, um, whatever way possible, on that service specifically that you're using, like, say, Disney+. Plus. So let's say the example is you're trying to watch Thor. If you're trying to watch Thor and Thor is not available in your country, um, but it's available in your friend's country, the friend that wants to watch Thor together with you, it will not work for you, but they will be watching Thor essentially by themselves chatting with you in the chat that I'll show you in a little bit. So it's an interesting application here. Now, another thing here is this is the main screen here of Rave. So you see public rooms. They have public and private rooms. Private rooms is mainly what I would use it for. I don't really know why I would watch um, content with just random people uh, on the web, unless you're like on Twitch or something, but you can do that here. So if you click into like anything here, uh, you can watch it. I'm kind of gonna be a little skeptical in terms of what I click on just because you have to be careful on these things, especially when you're making videos online. You never know what kind of comments will pop up uh, that they're doing and who knows how much it ruins the video. But you can do that in this public area here um, on the front. Next thing is you click this button, you drop down some settings. It brings down the menu. So it's not exactly settings. I don't know why they wrote that. They should have just said menu, um, maybe just written it up here and then it drops down this menu here. So this is their social saving stuff and what you can buy, the version what type of windows I'm using. This does support uh, iOS, Mac OS, uh, obviously Windows, and it supports um, Android as well. Um, I haven't tested on ARM, but I think since this is an x64-bit application, it's, it's just gonna be not very as optimal on ARM as well. Um, but in general, you got your friends list here. So if I go to my friends list, this is the friend I was testing it with. You got your my account right here. So this lets you go through your account, edit your account, Pick whatever it is, your username, your handle. Feel free to add me or not. doesn't matter. I don't use it too often. Connections. Um, you can add integrated accounts. So you can see I have Google Drive tied in on here. Uh, and then you got your app settings. So the app settings, what you might think off the top of your head if you're knowing this channel is, uh, is it fluent? Now, the thing is, this is not fluent in any way whatsoever. It just looks like it, but this is not what you see in the background. What you see in the background is just a, a moving video. Um, that's all it is, just a video in the background that kind of feels fluent. So it does kind of match Windows 11 style, but it's not really. So I can change my background from dark to light, just like that. And I'm not even sure what light even means because this is still similar to dark. Uh, I guess it's just more vibrant colors and that's it. That's pretty much it. Um, the other thing too is you can invite people so you can get invites to chats and to things like that you can get missed missed chats uh, notifications uh, clipboard notifications you the one annoying thing other thing too is that when you first install this application it wants to open up on startup of your computer which is ridiculous so I, in my opinion just check it off turn it off as always just never have this thing open up on startup it's not that it eats up a ton of resources it's just like what's the point it's like another one of those apps that wants to start up with your computer for no reason whatsoever, but to just waste your memory. Um, so going forward here, we have hide location. So you can turn off hide location so you won't appear on the map, but your country will still be visible. Restrict invites. That's probably a thing you might want to turn on. So that way you only receive invites from friends. Mature content. You can turn on or off mature content. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to turn, off, turn on uh, hide mature content because, again, YouTube. Uh, then you got your audio. So you can see here, um, another cool feature with this application is uh, you can chat with your friends um, live. So you can either text chat or you can voice chat. So this is how you can uh, pick whatever it is, your speaker, your microphone, and so on. I'm not going to touch it because I'm recording on the same computer that I'm using this application on. Don't want it to cut the recording. But that's what you can do with that. 
Uh, so now let's just go back to, uh, I guess, let's just go back to, oh, messed up. Give me one second. There we go. Now let's just go back to, uh, I guess, go to raves, just like that. So you're back on the home screen here. And then the next thing is, let's pick a service. So let's say we're going on YouTube. We're going to go on YouTube. This is a solo thing. I'll, I'll insert a clip of when I was actually doing uh, a demo with a friend about the latency of it because that is a big thing for me uh, is latency uh, as you know with latency let's say you're watching spider-man no way home and that friend has never seen it before and neither have you let's say there's a crazy part that pops up um, and that friend is like oh my god did you see that you know it's gonna take about a second is what i discovered uh, for that other friend to see the same thing. Above, so it's that kind of latency on there, like half a second roughly kind of to see the same thing. But yeah, so overall, you, you got, you know, you sign into YouTube here, if you need to. You don't need to. to uh, I did with my other account. Screen. So you sign into YouTube, um, you can pick anything here. So let's say I want to pick, this is just the YouTube website. This is nothing special. Um, let's say I just want to pick uh, Carbot Animations for Elden Ring, right? I want to hit play on it. And then this is the video player here. It says now playing. Uh, you got some options here, so let me actually uh, pause this. So you got some options here. Uh, public means that on that home page that I showed you guys initially, uh, this, let's say, server, I guess is what you want to call it, this chat room, uh, will appear on there. So anybody that's looking on that home page can join this chat room and watch the same thing here. Um, you got another thing here. You got library here. Um, you can see that thing just moved away so now it automatically made it like that i definitely don't want to do that um the other thing too is uh you had different options here you got nearby so only nearby users can join friends only friends can join so i'm gonna do friends so friends only can join this um so you see it automatically tells you and it tells you what time that everything was changed and this and that it's pretty decent in my opinion going up here though you got your settings for the server stuff so it says blur non-friend media so therefore this is what will happen. The, the problem that I was going to tell you guys is what if someone randomly joins, right? Um, how can you make sure that, let's say, you don't want to see what they're posting? You can just check this off and it blurs media from friends that, from people sharing uh, things that aren't in your friends list. So that way you are much better off. Uh, everybody can voice chat. If you click this button, you can click. You can pick what you want to do for the voice chat options. I'm going to turn on, turn off voice chat, playback version, playback modes. Um, so the idea is, let's say you have 30 people inside your chat room, even just two or three, whatever it is. Uh, you can make it so that way you guys can vote on uh, the next piece of content. And that will be a tab that I show you in a second, which is over here. Uh, just play, which means videos play after a single vote. So if one person clicks it, it'll just play. Uh, Auto play, videos play automatically. And then there is only leader, only the leader can select video. So it's like, it's just me in here. So it's just going to be like that. You got your preferences here too. Again, it's the same thing that you saw before there. And then you got audio, which is the same thing you saw before. You got search here, which is just another view of seeing the same thing here. And the middle of when you open this up, it looks like this, this only resizes it for you. This doesn't resize it for your friend or whoever it is you're watching it with. It's only for you. Um, so let's say i want to switch into netflix i'm going to go into netflix i've already signed into my netflix account uh, i'm going to go into my netflix and i want to watch ozarks you know on this thing you might notice i have not finished carbot animations uh Erd tree avatar right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say this is going to be the next video uh season one episode one sugarwood uh and then the only way that this can play uh, this next video can play is if I get to the end of the Carvot video and then the next video, Ozarks, Sugarwood, Episode 1, Season 1, will play just like that. So that's kind of how it works. Um, I have some things to say about this uh, when I was testing it and it was annoying, but I'll get to that in a little bit. So that is essentially the search slash vote option. When you search for something and you punch it in, it jumps you into the vote option, in which case you get it here. And then you have other modes here, scenic mode, uh, which looks like it just chooses whether or not chat appears or not. You got your invite mode, which allows you to send invites to people so I can send invites to my friend. You got the map. So the map just shows you different places around the world of people using Rave. And uh, you can see, let's see if it even works. I haven't actually looked at this too much. So let me see how long it's gonna take for it to load in. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. 
yeah it doesn't look like this earth is even like re-rendering for when i zoom in or anything like that so i'm not sure exactly with that um but in general you got different controls and different things like that to control your content and media speaking of controlling your content and media let me exit out of this here so what you can do here is you got your play button you obviously got what you're watching you got your scrub timeline here you got your full screen button which i'm not going to do uh you got your uh what is this called your resolution that you can do uh and then you got your translation so you can actually translate just like that uh closed captioning you can favorite this content and then you can skip to the next content right there so there you go so let's say i want to watch uh, my dripping my dripping sleep uh you can skip straight to that and just like that you'll skip straight to it when it loads in finally so you can see i'm now on episode three don't want to spoil ozarks for any of you guys netflix chill out uh so in general it is an interesting application but i do have some things to say about this application um i just wish that in order to make it easier to use i understand the voting option and everything like that but i feel like if i went into settings and said leader's choice for example uh to pick the next video right if i click that and that's the playback option what i expect is that if i hit search and i say i want to go to youtube right and I wanna play a video from YouTube, let's say Angry Joe's thing, and I hit this, right? Is it gonna click? There you go. So, and I hit this. What I expect is that it will just switch automatically. Like, it should just become like that, or should they should create a mode where if I just click on another video, it just automatically puts in that new video. You don't have to scrub to the very end. Cause this took me like half an hour to figure out. I was getting upset figuring this out. You should have heard from my friend. So that is the idea with rave rave works really well for when it does work um it's similar to amazon's watch party it's similar to netflix's version of watch party um disney plus's version of watch party right where you need everyone needs to have an account already to use it uh but you have just an integrated interface to do it all you don't have to jump in and out of different applications because essentially these what i feel like these are are just web apps of the website that they're just letting you use like google drive you're just on google drive's website netflix.com disney plus.com these are just those things hbo max and so on to use this so yeah that's about it uh for this video let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about rave have you used it do you have any suggestions that are like rave but maybe work better maybe look better i don't know we'll see uh, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to take a look at it. My name is Kwaku, and as always, you can follow me on Twitter, Next Windows. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Take care, everybody.